Hey everyone! Today let's dive into the fascinating history of the British monarchy. Ever wondered how the royal family of the UK became, well, the royal family? Uh, let's unravel this intriguing tale. The origins of the British monarchy date back over a thousand years. It all began with the Anglo-Saxons in the early medieval period. Around the 9th century, several small kingdoms existed in what we now call England. One notable figure was Alfred the Great, King of Wessex, who defended his kingdom against Viking invasions and laid the foundations for a unified English nation. Fast forward to 1066 and we hit a turning point. William the Conqueror, the Duke of Normandy, invaded England, defeating King Harold II at the Battle of Hastings. So William's victory was monumental marking the beginning of Norman rule. As the first Norman King of England, William introduced a new feudal system and built iconic structures like the Tower of London. The Plantagenets followed, ruling for over three centuries. They were known for their epic battles and struggles for power, like the Wars of the Roses. This civil war between the houses of Lancaster and York ultimately led to the rise of the Tudors. Ah, the Tudors. Henry VIII is probably the most famous Tudor monarch, renowned for his six marriages and the English Reformation. His daughter, Elizabeth of Wern, brought about a golden age of exploration and culture. With no direct heir, the Tudor dynasty ended, paving the way for the Stuarts. The Stuarts faced turbulent times, including the English Civil War and the temporary abolition of the monarchy. But in 1660, the monarchy was restored with Charles II. The Stuarts' reign ended with Queen Anne's death, leading to the Hanoverians. The Hanoverians brought stability and expansion, with monarchs like George III overseeing the British Empire's growth. This era also saw the emergence of constitutional monarchy, limiting the monarch's powers and establishing a parliamentary system. Finally, the current House of Windsor emerged in the early 20th century. Originally named the House of Saxe, Coburg and Gotha, the name was changed in 1917 due to anti-German sentiments during World War I. Since then, the Windsors have navigated world wars, societal changes and modern-day challenges, maintaining their place as a symbol of tradition and continuity. So there you have it. The British monarchy's journey from medieval kingdoms to the global stage. It's a story of power, resilience and adaptation. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for more historical insights. Teach to...